What's up everybody, Lawrence Aponte here, and I just wanted to shoot this quick video because I've actually seen a fun fact the other day, and it said that tap water is more healthier than bottled water. So I wanted to debunk that myth, see if it's true or false. So basically what I did was, I went to the store and I purchased literally how many waters we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 12 waters that I purchased, along with three other waters, which is a filtered water, the kitchen water, and then the refrigerator water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna test each and every um, one of these waters with this pH test strip. Got this off of Amazon. And basically it just tells you that, that um, how al alkaline the water, or you can even test your saliva and even urine. So let's go ahead and jump right into the test. Uh, a couple fun facts is our body is actually 70% water. So I mean, with, with, with that in mind, you know, you wanna kinda always know what you're putting in you. So we'll start here with the smart water. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna go down the line and pour like a little shot in each individual cup. And as I pour it in there, I'll drop a test strip and let the test strip do its magic. Okay. Smart. Come next to this Evian water. It's actually crazy because I googled what were the top um, waters and I got Smart Water, Evian, and Fiji in that order. So I have them here, the top three. So we'll go ahead and test all, test those as well. Get us some Fiji. Okay. I actually like Fiji water. To me, this water is like uh, it's kind of thick. It's like a thick water. Okay. Drop a test strip in there. Okay, then here we have the Asenia. It's like it's supposed to be 9.5 alkaline water. So let's test it here. Okay, pour some in here. So actually I bought all of these waters from Sprouts. Here's actually a Sprouts water. It's a Sprout alkaline water. It's supposed to be 8.5 pH. So water is actually really important because we're supposed to be drinking one ounce per each pound that you weigh. So if we were to correlate that into like a real world example, I weigh 150 pounds. So essentially I need to consume about 150 ounces of water which is would be equivalent to oh look I poured the wall which would be equivalent to um, here we have the Pellegrino um, a little bit over a gallon of water we'll try the Pellegrino okay okay we'll move this one here this is a uh, Agua L and if you notice like the branding, like, like once I started getting into marketing, um, I started noticing all these brands. And when you go to the water aisle, there's literally, man, there's so many, there's gotta be 20, 30, 40 different waters that you can buy. And they all supposedly have some type of good features or minerals or vitamins or some, something of a sort in it. So we'll drop one in here in Agua L water. So this next one's actually pretty cool. Um, it's called black. And if you look at the actual liquid, it is black. So it's like black water. So it's premium alkaline water. It says it has over 70 traces and minerals. I'll go ahead and uh, pour that in here. Take this one out. Black water. I want to taste this when we're done. Okay. Put the top up. Okay. Next we got Arrowhead. This is uh, the water that you get, like 30 of them for $3. So like 10 cent waters. Test this one out here. Okay, that's Arrowhead. Next we have Sprouts Purified Water. Sprouts spring water. Okay. 
Then we have Essence uh, Super Hydration. This says 10 pH. So we'll see exactly how that goes. And then these last three that I have down here, here I have filtered water, which is like a spigot that I have coming out of my sink. And then I have the actual kitchen tap water. And then I also have the refrigerator water um, from over there. So I'll drop a tab in each one of those. And then once I drop it, we'll just go all the way back to the front and we'll measure the alkalinity of each and one of these waters. Okay. Tops on, make sure not to spill. All right. Okay. So we'll actually get the box back. So here's like a table. There's actually a table that you can see based on the results as they start turning. And you can see over here, this is the acidic side, orange and yellow. And then it goes all the way to the alkaline side where it's like kind of like a purplish green blue. See it there? Okay, so we'll start off with smart water. As you can see, we'll pull the tab out. We'll pull it and it, it's literally uh, looks orange and yellow, like a 4.5. Not very smart. This is supposed to be the number one smart water. Put that there. Next, we got Evian, the number two water. Natural spring water. See that there? It's like a... a uh, a little bit better. It's like a 6.5. Still a little slightly acidic. Okay, next is Fiji. Fiji water, that's the thick water. It's kind of expensive. All right, so we have like a green and yellow. If we look at it here, uh, right there about a 6.25. Also acidic. Okay, next we have the Estensia which is supposed to be a 9.5 pH or better. If we look here, it looks to be maybe a 6.7, maybe even 6.5, so slightly acidic, but nowhere near the nine that it's advertising. Next one we have is the Sprouts Alkaline Water. It's supposed to be an eight Supposed to be an eight. Here we got. It looks like it's a five. Sprouts I'm disappointed. Five. Okay. Next we have the Pellegrino mineral water. This one here also looks to be like a 5.5. Wow, very acidic for the mineral water. Okay, next we have the Agua L. Seven, it says seven on the bottle. If we look here, it looks like we have a 6.5, maybe 6.75, close to seven. We can give that to the Agua L, close to seven. Okay, so here's this black water, premium alkaline water. Okay, we can look at it, it's actually pretty dark. Probably about an eight or 8.5, if you can see that. Next we have Arrowhead Mountain Spring Water. Oh, wow, local favorite. So here we go. This one's actually pretty decent. It's like a seven. That's that 10 cent water, guys. That's actually pretty well balanced, according to the graph. Okay, next we have the Sprouts Purified Water. Okay, and this is like a 4.5. This is severely acidic. Stay away from that purified water from Sprouts. Here. Next we have Sprouts Spring Water, which is also uh, about that 10 cents or the 12 cent water. You get a big bag. So this is about a 6.2, 6.5, right in there in the middle. You guys can see that. And then we have, oh actually I didn't even put one in this trip. For the last one. Okay. Well that one sits there for a second. We'll try. This here is the filtered water. This is the filtered water from um, the little spigot that we have that's supposed to be our drinking water. It looks like a five. Not very good. 
Okay. Next, wow, this is the kitchen tap. The kitchen tap is actually looking really good, where it looks like it's a 7.5. Pretty alkaline, if you ask me, wow. That's very surprising. 7.5 on the kitchen tap. And then here is the refrigerator, where there's like a little filtered button. And this one as well is like a 7.2. So the, the, the kitchen and the tap actually are pretty good here. I'm actually in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, and this last one here, which is the Essence, which is supposed to be a pH 10. We'll give it just a few more seconds here. But the importance, guys, is to basically know exactly what you're putting in your body, right? If, if you don't know what you're putting in your body, you, it just may not be that uh, quote unquote healthy. They could be full of you know fluorides and whatnot. So if we look here at the Essence pH 10, this is, well let's sit for a second, that way you can go. But I'm kind of looking here at this Evian and this Evian, this Evian is actually getting really dark. So about a nine after it's been sitting out for a little bit. Same thing with the Fiji. The Fiji, if we, we revert back to it, gets to about an eight. So as it's essence, it's essence doesn't look like it's doing much of anything. It's about a five, uh, five point oh for the essence when it's clear and it states that it's a pH of ten. So that's clearly off. But that wraps it up, guys. Um, if you want to do your own pH test, check out the water in your area. Check out your tap water, your refrigerator. Check out your ice, your urine, your saliva. You can go ahead and get these. The link's going to be down there in the description. Got them off Amazon. They were literally like I don't know a few dollars. And yeah, just go buy some water and test it out. Till next time, guys. I hope this, this helped you out. Peace.